Excuse me, no Hi, guys. Imagine this. It is another cool, cloudy, drizzly, dark, gray, depressing. Slit your wrist if you have the balls to do it. Kind of day here uh, in the end times. In my little seven foot by seven foot. What is this? My little hideaway. Uh, it is two o'clock in the afternoon, so I have been sitting, I have been in this seven foot by seven foot pretty much going on, well, 18 hours uh, sitting here in sort of solitary confinement. Uh, not counting the, the little dog, which is... Uh, giving me plenty of time to think so what can we ramble on about uh, here on what are we is it Wednesday afternoon now Wednesday September 25th 2024 I, I noticed I noticed uh, that uh, I'm actually shocked that this is the first clueless fucking moron who has no clue, no clue what I have been talking about for the past few days. Uh, I, I mean, not the single vaguest idea is left a comment, this is getting old. Well, uh, as I told him, I, I don't remember begging you to listen to this. If you don't want to listen to this, get the fuck out of here. Humpty Dumpty Tribe, in particular this series of videos, however much longer it's going to go for, is not for pussies or clueless fucking morons. If you, if you have no interest uh, in, 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 in what I have to say about depression or whatever, go back to your fucking cute cat videos. Like I said yesterday, I have nothing to say to you. You are an unreachable, clueless fucking moron. I have nothing to say to you. Uh, you, you have nothing to gain by being here. Get the fuck out of here. All right. So uh, with with that little uh, announcement, uh, so where? Let me dive into my my tangled brain uh, here at two o'clock in the afternoon. And again, uh, you, you know, from a from a stone sober perspective. Uh, what's rattling around in my brain, and and, and guys, I don't know why. Uh, I, I I don't think anything I'm getting ready to say here is original uh, or profound. But but uh, it's I have never read in my entire life what I am getting ready to say. I have just figured this out, and I'm throwing it out there. So if somebody else, and no doubt uh, YouTube is full of people uh, who, is, who have made the exact same no shit Sherlock conclusions uh, that, that I'm getting ready to state, uh, I did not get it from them. It, it, it came out, uh, I, I've pretty much come up uh, with, with, with this myself uh, here in the last 24 hours, I'm just beginning to, beginning to try to put this together. So, you know, at, at the very bottom of this pit, you, you know, when, when, you, when you strip it all down, when you peel back every layer of the fucking bullshit, okay, which is the gift of depression, that you get insights into in, in uh, the state of being 
and human nature and all of the rest of it that uh, people who never get here will never get to experience and figure out for themselves. That's why I'm saying uh, I, I consider this uh, on one level a gift that a suicidal depression pit, uh, it, it, it opens windows uh, to, uh, to, to basic truths that th this army of bullshit that we have uh, armed ourselves with since the day we were born that people carrying this bullshit around with them will never get to understand. And of course, at the bottom of it, uh, now obviously, uh, a, a, a shitload of people have uh, mentioned this, it, it, it's just the absolute, utter, utter pointlessness and meaninglessness of existence, that you have to get down here, uh, down here at the bottom of this sewer and, 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 and look around from down here to fully understand that there is no meaning, no point to your existence. No meaning, no point. If, if you had never been born, nobody would be missing you. When you die, when you die, 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
between darkness and daylight, when uh, you, you, you get the, these thoughts that most of us cannot remember, and I think I, I, I was a lot deeper into this when I was, you know the state I'm talking about. Uh, so this is kind of like a dream state, uh, but we all know what I'm talking about, the, the hypnogogic state. And this is just, I'm, I'm trying to recollect what was going on in my hypnogogic state down in this pit. And, 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 and what I was coming up with was just just kind just looking at the bullshit that's piled onto us from cradle to grave. How this shit is fed to us, and how we develop our own ideas and our own personal worldviews. Uh, you, you know, basically to rationalize, to explain, and to rationalize, and, and to survive uh, our existence. Uh, and, and it's just, we're bombarded with it. Absolutely bombarded w w with all of this bullshit. Uh, good fucking God. And, and, and the, the end result seems to be that people j just go, they start with the assumption that there has to be a point to my life. There has to be meaning to my life. I, I mean, a little fucking baby is probably laying it, okay, well, here I am. Uh, what am I doing here, and uh, how do I add meaning to my life? And, and you go and, uh, you know, well, uh, this little item off the shelf, uh, we'll, we'll call this friendship, uh, adds meaning to my life. Uh, blah blah blah, and, and it grows in our in our entire lives. Uh, as we grow, uh, we, we we keep adding all of these things to to create this myth about ourselves, to deny the fact that there is no point, no meaning to us ever being born. We don't want to admit that we and the planet would have been better off if we had never been born. We sure as shit don't want to admit that we're going to die, and after we die, that nobody is going to give a flying fuck that we were ever here. So we, we spend our entire lives uh, claiming that, you know, things like love affairs. Well, this person, this other person, the my soulmate, the love of my life, gives my life meaning and point. And then, and then of course, we, we get to fucking children that uh, saying that these little spawns, these little planet-eating spawns that never should have been born, who will also be forgotten when they die, are, are, are the meaning of life. Or then, then you got your career, whatever your fucking career is, whatever, whatever your fucking passions, uh, your hobbies, your passions, your interest that uh, that just uh, you know filling your your brain <coughs> with, with all of this shit to convince you that your life has meaning, which is another way of denying the meaningless and the pointlessness of your life. So you spend your entire life 
in denial that you never should have been fucking born. And it will be better for everybody, including you, when you fucking die. We, we, we dedicate our entire lives to building this fucking little edifice around, a, around us that has exactly zero foundation in truth. So... Let, let, let me use let, let me use Sancho Panza uh, a, a, as as an example. Uh, my affection for this dog and his affection for me. Well, he doesn't seem to be very affectionate now. It is is he is is Sancho an addition. Is he an addition to my life? Does the existence of Sancho in my life add to the meaning of my life? Or does it subtract from the lack of meaning in my life? Which is another way of distracting that what, what all of these things do, uh, well, wh whether it, it's a pet or a child or whatever, it, it, it is all distraction from the, uh, from the bottom line that there is no meaning, no point to you ever being fucking born. And, and the more of these distractions uh, we, we can uh, we, we can pile on ourselves the more of these distractions we can create to uh, to subtract from the lack of meaning in our lives we read as we're adding meaning to our lives when nothing could be further from the truth we are fucking kidding ourselves that we uh, that we, we you know act, acting like our birth uh, was a good thing for anybody uh, or, or this planet uh, our entire lives are dedicated in the pursuit of denying the, the, the absolute meaninglessness and the pointlessness of life as we desperately pile on uh, all of this goddamn shit. Uh, you, you know, this, uh, these terms, I, you know, occupying my brain uh, I love uh, 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 occupying. What are you doing? Uh, I'm I'm occupying my mind, or I'm occupying my brain, or or this pursuit, whatever it is. Uh, th this pursuit is occupying my mind. Which is another way of saying, if I were not pursuing this, there would be nothing there. I am trying to force something in there when there's nothing there. There's nothing in your mind that you did not put there. And this other, and the other one is... Uh, I am I am occupying time. Uh, like, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm occupying my time. Or the one I really love because it it's more accurate is I am killing time. Like by this rant, what I am doing is killing time. If I weren't doing this rant, if I weren't killing my time by making this rant, and you are not killing your time uh, by listening to this horseshit coming out of this addled brain, 
what you would be doing while well, you would probably be killing time some other way but uh, if you weren't killing time you would have to face the brutal reality that there is no meaning and no point to time it's time it is something to kill uh, from the day we're born till the day we die. We are given a certain little piece of time to fill, to occupy, or to kill. That is, uh, that, that is the, uh, is that the point is that the meaning, what we do with ourselves from the day we are born till the day we do die, is that the fucking point to see how many ways we can kill the time that, that, that we were given? And uh, I, I understand uh, why uh, because I, I, I'm down here with my eyes wide open, uh, th that all of this makes perfect sense to me. We do not add meaning. We subtract the absence of meaning. And that's what makes your puny, worthless, uh, pointless existence defensible. That, uh, and, and, and good fucking God, uh, how many goddamn self-help books are there? Uh, Oh, Jesus, but I will keep this somewhat short uh, today. I and mean, that is what I am thinking about on this nasty, depressing, rainy day. I mean, that, that, that's what I have kind of come up with. Uh, I understand that uh, that clueless fucking moron who left that comment, this is getting old. Uh, has no fucking clue uh, about anything that I just said. And everything I uh, just said could have very well have been unadulterated horseshit. So if it makes you happy to think that you're listening to the ramblings of a mentally ill madman, well, that is exactly what you are listening to, is the ramblings of a mentally ill madman. So, ignore it if you want to. Uh, I could be absolutely as full of shit as you are with your own pointless, indefensible beliefs about your own puny, worthless existence. And, uh, with that, I guess I will, uh, go out through the rain and uh, pick my daily tomato for my daily BLT to uh, add some meaning to my life. This factory farmed uh, little pig, uh, the, 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 the meaning and the purpose uh, of this factory farmed pig who lived a life of, uh, well, you know, 
a, a, a truly horrible life from the day he was born till the day he died lived a life of a level of horror none of us can imagine but obviously he did not live and die in vain because I get to go eat him now and distract myself uh, from, uh, from, from uh, the, the fact that uh, I wish that little pig had some way to lace himself with arsenic. What do you think, little dog? You want some bacon or what? Get out there and enjoy eating your fellow earthlings while you still can. Bye, guys. All right. It is 2.25 in the afternoon. Time to seize the day, because it will be totally dark in five hours.